What's up, YouTube? Top Flight USA, back with another one. How you doing, brother? I'm doing okay. How you? I'm doing great. Thanks for asking. All right. What's your name, age, and where you from? Trevor Anthony. That's all I'm going to say. 55, grown and sexy, from the Boogie Down Bronx, New Okay. York. Shout out to Bronx. I love New York. Already. Uh, are you homeless right now? Of course I am. Okay. How long you been homeless? About a year. Okay. A year ago, what exactly caused you to be homeless? To be honest, the streets, they would devour me. They would devour me and the streets devoured me. And I, I allowed the streets to devour me, to make me be homeless because I was looking for something that I couldn't find, chasing something that I can't get. All right, that's what made me home. Chasing something I can't catch. Okay, and what exactly do you mean by that? Drugs, alcohol, sex, all this stuff that's non-cipher that ruined my life. Okay, all right. I definitely understand that. Uh, can we tap into your childhood a little bit and kind of Go build ahead. the interview up? Go ahead. Uh, do you have any siblings? Yes. Okay. How many uh, siblings do you have? I have one sister left. I had one brother and one sister. My brother died a few years ago. All I have is my sister, and that's uh, all we got right now. Sorry to hear about that. Nah, it's all good. Uh, His name is Popcorn. Pop, shout out to Popcorn. Shout out to Popcorn. Yeah. Um, so where are you at in the birth order? Are you the oldest? The baby. You the youngest? Yep. Okay. Uh. Let's talk about your childhood. Would you say you had a fairly normal childhood? No, I didn't. So I never had a mother and father by my grandmother and my aunts. They raised me. So to be honest, no, I did not have a good upbringing. But my grandmother taught me value, manners, okay. respect, a gentleman. His, I'm cool, calm, and collected. Okay. So how does that make you feel? to grow up without uh, a mother or a father. Guess what? Because I didn't know how to be a man because my father wasn't there. I didn't know how to love a woman because my mother wasn't there. But my, like I said, back to my grandmother. Okay. Back to my grandmother, she taught me value, morals, and understand a whole lot. I had to adjust to society to the point where I had to accept it as it is and keep it moving. But as long as my grandmother taught me the values of Marvel, because they ain't nothing like a grandmother. You know what I'm saying? So she taught me everything my mother or father couldn't teach. That's right. What's your highest grade level? 14. So uh, you graduated? A couple of years, yeah, I graduated in a couple of years of college. Okay. Yeah. Oh, what college did you go to? Benedict College in Columbia, South Carolina. Okay. Pace University in White Plains, New York. But what did you go to college for? Architecture. Because okay. I'm a good drawer. I like to draw. I can build your house. I can I can I still love to draw. Okay. And I'm I'm in architecture. I went for architecture, but I never completed. And I'm, I hate that. Oh wow. Okay. Um did anything ever happen to you growing up sexually? Nah, never that. Okay. Now hold on, hold on, hold on. I did have someone when I was young. I was young. I didn't know what they was doing or what they was doing to me. Okay. And it was a woman, and I was so young. I just did what they told me to do. Oh, wow. I didn't know what to do. But I wouldn't say it was abuse, but they kind of took advantage of me a little bit. Was Not she no, older than you? Yes, she was way older than me, and she was a babysitter. Oh, wow. That yeah, was she was a babysitter. Wow. Yeah. Yep. Nothing raping and nothing like that. But it's like, it's like, she took advantage of me because she knew I was naive. I was young. Wow. So, but that, that kind of, so that's why this day, uh, I wouldn't say I, I don't respect women, but it's to this day that what she done back then 
it makes me sexually active. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because they open that door for me. All right? Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever told anybody about that? Oh, yes, I did. I told my brother. But me and him was like this. Me and my brother was like that. I couldn't tell my sister because she wouldn't understand. But my brother, I told her what happened. And he knew who the person was. And they never did nothing about it. Wow. But 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 I told him years and years later, because when that happened, I was only five or six. I only told them when I was 13, 14, because it was in the back of my mind, like, why this woman did this to me. Right. All right. Um have you ever been diagnosed with any mental disorders? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, would you say living homeless is dangerous? Very dangerous. Living homeless, that means you're out in the street. And when you're out in the streets, you got to watch your back. Because everybody don't love everybody. They act like they're for you, but they're really against you. They're lurking and looking for a victim. So I hear homeless on the street. It's not a joke. It's not a game. But God is mine. That's right. God is my protection. And he protects me every night from hurt, harm, and danger. That's right. How do you make your money out here? I hustle. Okay. Not hustling on no drug tip. I work. You know what I'm saying? If I, I'm a painter by trade and I can follow instructions. You get that part? You, you, okay, I know where you're going. Yeah. Uh, do you have any addictions? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, what type of addictions do you have? I smoke crap. Okay. Because I'm beyond. Okay. I'm not afraid to reveal the devil who he is. He got me on this. I'm going to get off by the mercy and grace of God. But yes, I'm going to be honest because I'm not going to hide him. Okay. If you're going to interview me, I'm going to tell the truth. I smoke crap. I smoke weed. I got. I drink alcohol. I smoke cigarettes. All that stuff is no good for me, but it is where I got to deal with it. But it's mine over matter. That's right. And I respect your honesty, brother. No. Uh, do you think it's your addictions uh, holding you back or got you of at a standstill? Of course. Still? What this stuff would do to I lost so much behind this addiction. My addiction made me lost my family. I was married for 22 years. I lost, I got two grown kids. But my addiction made me lose a whole lot to anybody. Do not, if anything you're dealing with, please try to get off of it. That's right. That's uh, real talk. Have you ever tried to get help with your addiction? Yes, I've been to rehab. As soon as I get out of rehab, I can't wait to go get high again. So I'm going to be honest with you. Point blank, period. That's right. Um, wow, that was deep, brother. I'm not, I'm not playing, bro. I'm getting over this. When you take when you take my next interview, I'm gonna tell you about the good things that God had took me over. And I say I got over this, bro. I remember this. I remember I was in my ditch when you gave me this this interview. But if I ever see you again, they give my testimony to the point where look where God has took me from. Because I'm looking forward. I'm not gonna be like everybody else stuck on stupid. I'm not gonna be stuck on stupid. I'm gonna get over this. I'm gonna conquer this. There's no weapon form against me. Share prosper. I'm going to conquer this, but I'm stuck in the middle. And it's okay, bro. All right. All right. Uh, I, you got to take it one yeah, day at a time. One day at a time. And I, and I respect everything you said, because that's the whole purpose of this. Thank you. Know, you. It, it's not about making light out of your situation or thinking anything funny. It's about getting a success story at the end of the day. We want to see you I'm better. Talking. That's what I'm talking about. And, and we don't mind following your life from this point on. There you go. And uh, we we would love to capture it, and we hope hopefully one day, whenever it is, you get yourself where you want to be, and we can put that on camera as well. My success story. That's right. Uh, I just got a couple more questions. Man, go ahead and keep asking, because I'm gonna be honest about all this. I'm not gonna hide the devil no more. But when you hide the devil, he keeps you stuck, caught up in the yoke. But when you reveal the devil, who the person? Why do you think there's so many people homeless right now? I'm going to be honest. First of all, they don't have an initiative to get, get out there and do something. Apply yourself to get a job, to, to do what's right. Wow. It's been 20 years, and I 
still reaping all the stuff I did 20 years ago because they won't let me go up a, a bill because my credit score is bad, my record is bad, and now I can't get a job, I can't down to their policies, their policies and their theory. Just like every state got their own policy and theory. North Carolina, I've been down here for 20 plus years. North Carolina policies, it has nothing to do with good for me. Because it's racist, it's biased, and it's just to the point where they keep me stuck on stupid. They keep me stuck where they want me to be. When I try to go up, they try to keep me down. And I'm homeless because they won't give me a chance. They right. will not give me a chance. All I need is a chance. And That's I will right. prove that I can be worthy of my service. Okay. And I'm glad you said that, brother. Because I do have a few resources, uh, different resources of all kinds. Uh, I'm going to share those resources with you after the video. Yeah, yeah break bread, and, baby. And if any of them can help you, please, break bread with me. Break please bread. use them. Break bread with me. Okay. Uh, if your family happens to come across this video, what do you think their thoughts will be? It'll be like, I'm glad that he's confessing. I'm glad he's being honest. And it's not like they didn't know. Because you know what? The family is the first one who judge you. Because they already stereotype me like I'm a black sheep. Because I'm homeless. Everybody else is doing good. But, I'm, but I, guess what? I don't have to prove nothing to them. I have to prove it to myself. Once I prove myself, they're going to see that I'm confessing my truth to the point where I'm at in life and telling y'all that what I've done, the choices I've made in life, I wish I never did. If I can start all over again, I would make a, a whole difference. Even my environment, being around the wrong people. You see that guy over there? I don't need to be around him, but check this out. But one thing I want to say to you, brother, People use it as an excuse. I drink because of the problems I'm going through. I get high because of the problems I'm going through. No, that's a lame ass excuse. Okay. You do it because you want to do it. That's right. Don't, 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 don't let situations and circumstances make you think, okay, I did this because I'm going through it. No, when people to be around. Okay. All right. All right. Um, All right. how are we gonna get ourselves out of this situation? Okay. All right. Good question. Good question. It's up to me, matter. Mind don't matter, because I cannot let matter take control of my mind. Because matter has no. That's right. All right. So to get out of this situation is change my environment. Okay. Get my will power on. Because everybody got a will. God said, let that will be done. It's not my will, but his. I got to follow his will. I have to have mind power. And I get out of this situation when I put my mind in focus and put my body in motion. That's right. I like the way you put that. Put my mind in focus, put my body in motion. I like that, brother. That's a good way to end that right there. But uh, do you have a cash app or a Gmail? Somebody may want to get in contact with you or somebody may, might want to donate to you? Yo, I have a Gmail. Okay. Popcorn, P-O-P. C O R N one zero zero two Tony T O N Y Patty P A T T Y twenty four at gmail dot com okay. and just watch me grow. Watch me grow. That's all I want to do is grow. All I want to do is grow and build, build on my circle and be a testimony to help others. Stuck on this was the first interview, but we're gonna follow your story. Of we're course, gonna follow you, and, and it ain't always got to be good. I'll just let yeah. you know that right now. When I call you, or you call me, it don't always got to be you doing good, exactly. It's just we want to follow you, and whenever you decide to get yourself together, we want to put that on camera also. He ran on the just and the unjust alike. Being that if you interview me again, and if I'm not where I need to be. I would love to have an interview and say, I'm still uh, seeking. Knock at the door. That's right. He shall oh, seek, the, seek me, you shall find. I'm going to keep seeking. That's right. And I'm going to, the meek shall have it. I am a meek person, humble. 
And I, I'm asking y'all, pray for me as well as I pray for this world. All right? That's and right. just don't give up on me because I ain't going to give up on myself. We definitely won't. Uh, did you have, have have a cash out, brother? No, I don't. I don't, I, I don't believe in no cash out because I had a cash out before and I had some circumstances where the scams done took some money from me. Okay. So that's that's not my MO. Okay. That's not my MO with the cash out. I, I don't do that anymore because I got I got drooped on that. Okay. So I left that alone. That's understandable. Uh, thank you for doing this interview with us. Uh, God bless you, brother. And can I get one more? One more point of thought. That's right. Go ahead. Rhythm is knowledge and knowledge is understanding. So understand this. God never, God never left you. You left God. Okay. By the blood. And I love God. So I am a, what they call it? What's the word? I'm a, I'm saved. I'm saved by the grace of God, but I need to be redeemed. I need to go back where I came from. Because I know God got a purpose for me. Somebody, a drive-by shooting, a drive-by shooting, mistaken identity. Somebody shot eight times. I caught three bullets. I'm still alive. That's right. You tell me God ain't got a purpose for me. So I'm telling everybody and anybody, don't give up 